All right, guys, my name is Ryan Thomas. Yes, I know I don't look the most amazing. I am pretty spotty in terms of a teenager. And yes, this is a more off-the-cuff video, but today I'm going to be talking about Samsung Knox. Now, I was doing a bit of research for this video. I've been researching this video for about the past week, maybe possibly two weeks. And the problem is, is I cannot find that much data about it. I can get as much information as I can. I've got a decent sized kind of list of information here. But my invitation to you is to comment your experiences and definitely if you know more information, which you probably will, let me know in the comments, just an invitation for that because I haven't got the most amount of information. And the question I looked up is, can Samsung Knox brick your phone if you try to root your device? Didn't get an answer on that. So if you guys know if it does or not, please let me know in the comments. To start off with, what is Knox? Well, Knox is a security layer in terms of software and actually hardware as well in modern Samsung devices that's meant to separate personal and business use. Yeah, I don't really know how that works, but apparently what it does is it, it, it gives you a different home screen for your business information. And basically, everything within that kind of container, if you like, is compressed and secure, encrypted rather than not compressed. And what it does is basically it allows you, so you have a separate container inside of your already secured connection, obviously with your fingerprint or your padlock, anything like that you've got on there. So with that, you know, screen combination, padlock, anything like that, it actually enables you to go into your device and then within there, go into your Knox folder if you have one. Now apparently, and I couldn't find a lot of this information now, that you do have a Knox folder, it's just you have to activate it or something, and it's kind of a folder, it comes with uh, something called a Knox app, which you need to download if you want to install the Knox applications within that Knox kind of browser thing. And within there, uh, there are some apps including Evernote and Dropbox, which are kind of well-known ones. There are a load of others on a list, but I didn't really want to bore you with those since they're not very popular, obviously otherwise they wouldn't be they wouldn't be at the bottom of the list so yeah essentially Knox is a security and you heard me say at the beginning that it's software and hardware yes the Knox app is software and it's deeply embedded a lot within your operating system it's not just a, an, an OS level it's like within the OS if that makes sense but also has hardware as well there's like a Knox chip and something to do with a Knox timer or a Knox clock or a Knox counter and what it does is if if it detects an attack it will reset apparently or something like this and it will basically trip it and destroy some data or something again I couldn't find a lot of this information it might sound like I haven't done my research I've been researching for about a week on this I use an S7 Edge crying out loud I didn't even know Knox was a thing you know on your phone until quite recently and yeah, it doesn't actually only affect the S devices, it affects uh, J series devices, Note devices, E and A devices as well, and sub tablets. And so it's not just, you know, it's not just your S devices. And also it goes from apparently what I can figure out, again, loads of people give me different models here, but from what I can work out, it's from about the S3 upwards to the S7, obviously, and then the S8 coming out. And I found data on separating the personal and business and or professional, but that's pretty much all the data I could find on Knox itself. It apparently says, and I'm reading this off my phone because it is incredibly kind of muddled and not very well structured at all, but you can not flash, as in if someone steals your phone, no one can flash a new ROM because Knox will detect that it's a stolen device because you're trying to access that root area and it will make them kind of useless. Now, I don't see why, because it's not exactly going to be the best thing ever. If you were to reset your data on your phone, you know, if it reset all of the data and gave you a fresh OS, okay, that might make sense. But it's kind of pointless because it's making stolen devices completely useless, apparently. Again, it might not be, but we don't know. But apparently, it's making devices completely useless, tripping knocks. But thieves aren't going to know that. I mean... Thieves, I'm sure, are knowledged up on phones and whatever, but probably not in the technical aspect that you think. So, yeah. Apparently, the Knox home screen is a thing, and you'll get a shortcut back to your personal home screen, and basically what it does is separate things entirely. So you'll have business apps like, I said, Evernote, Dropbox, Adobe, PDF readers on your business one, with which you might have sensitive data and information that you really cannot as a company afford to let slip and then maybe on your personal account you know you have your facebook messengers and stuff but you might download an app that could look at that sensitive data hence why they implemented Knox as a system to partition 
apps that could potentially do that and the information that you are wanting to keep safe. Now, tripping Knox can definitely void your warranty. Apparently there's, from again what I can tell, loads of different sources, this isn't good, like I said, an invitation to write your comments in the, in the comment section, but it's apparently going to void your warranty, although there's a very slight chance that you won't void your warranty, again, not very clear, but apparently I, I'm kind of got the understanding that it will void your warranty if you trip it and you take it to a Samsung center and they look through it because they could tell because it's hardware based. And there are plenty of ways to apparently bypass Knox to install ROMs and root your device. I personally never actually wanted to root or install anything on my S7 Edge. Kind of weird that because I've had Samsung devices in the past. I've used the S3, the S4, the S5, the S6. I never really got extensive use of the S6 Edge, but it was just kind of a thing. And then when I got the S7, I didn't really feel the need because the bloke that's on there is actually quite useful and again it's quite a secure system and I do like the OS, I like the skin, I like the applications by Samsung, especially S Health, I love that application, works seamlessly so well. But of course a lot of people do want the stock experience and so there are ways of bypassing this. Now on the S7, apparently the Snapdragon 820 model, so if you don't know which model you've got you can download Ada or Ida64 or Geekbench and they should both tell you which model you have in terms of your CPU or your system on a chip in this case. And the Snapdragon 820 models have a locked bootloader you cannot unlock yourself, whereas the Exynos based versions, like the one I have, uh, they, they are unlocked automatically, apparently. Again, there was a lot, there were a lot of forums that I was looking through, you know, news posts, everything, and they're all telling me different things, but I kind of took it on a majority vote. From what I can tell, the 820 bootloader was locked, and again, maybe that's another reason why I like my Exynos chip one. I don't know. But yes, that's uh, it's quite odd. You have to use Odin to flash this and to root it and to install ROMs, apparently. It's not quite what I'd expect because I'm used to flashing stuff with ADB and fast boot. Now again this can be something that might be easier for users instead of actually making it harder because you don't have to use a command line interface you can simply do it through this UI based interface. But I never really cared and, and to be fair if I'm honest I'm quite frightened to install the uh, install the custom ROMs myself because I don't want to brick a phone that cost me £400 and for a lot of people about £600. So I have got some links, there are actually five links in the video description, I'm going to put my phone down now with the notes, yeah five links in the video description you guys can check out, I do have some sources where I got some of this information but like I said a lot of websites are telling me really weird different things and yeah this is an invitation to write down what you have about Knox in the, in the comments below and you know vote up if you find it interesting, if you don't like it, if you think that this information is wrong or whatever leave a dislike and dislike the comment if there's something like that as well so basically it's an invitation it's like a community based thing and I want people to know about Knox because my good friend Seb had his phone bricked apparently when he was trying to root it and install custom ROM now I'm not sure how truthful that is as in it might have been triggered by something else not just installing the ROM and tripping Knox but I can imagine it being like this if it's really as bad as a lot of people say it is personally I've never had a problem with Knox but is something that I'm worried about as a Samsung phone owner, especially over the past few generations. With the S7 Edge, I've never really wanted to change anything about it, so I kind of like it. It's actually my favorite phone overall. And yeah, let's see how bad it is with the S8. Maybe it's a bad thing. It comes back with the S8 and you suddenly can't even install third party apps anymore. I don't know. All I know actually from this is that Samsung Knox is not very well advertised whatsoever. It's not very well spoken about and it's something that we need to talk about as a community, as a phone loving community and to people who want their data information kind of saved and not stolen from people because there are ways that people have got around Knox and not in the conventional sense of someone stole a phone and got into the data but apparently Knox just has a few loopholes that could be exploited quite easily. Now I'm just going to end this video by saying I hope you've all enjoyed this information. I'm sorry that like I said it's off the cuff. I'm not very structured in the way that I do things and so when I make the videos it reflects it in that because it's not structured at all. With the script based ones it's a lot easier because I can kind of get myself uh, the same amount of information but in a smaller amount if that makes sense so the same amount of information but condensing it and actually wording everything instead of just 
throwing it out, you know? So the information that I got was pretty crap, and I'm not expecting any of you to kind of understand it, but at the same time, if you do know something that I don't, put it in the description, and subscribe if you're new. I mean, honestly, it would really help. Leave a like if you found this interesting or informative. A dislike if you didn't, just tell me, you know, it's honestly, I'm, I'm open to criticism. Comment asking me and telling me things about Knox. If you wanna ask a question, I might not be able to answer it, but a lot of my subscribers, a lot of my followers, are incredibly intelligent when it comes to phone, especially phone security and stuff. They know stuff that I would never have known in my lifetime, and I'm a reviewer. So I hope you guys uh, kind of speak to each other, like almost like a forum thread, like a community thread, because hopefully we can sort this thing, and maybe in a month I'll be able to create a follow-up to this Knox video with your guys' comments and feedback and create a structured list, because honestly, I've tried as hard as I can, I said. I spent the past week kind of learning this stuff, and I, just none of it really makes sense because it's all so scattered and so stagnated in the phone world. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope you guys look forward to that G6 that's come out recently, the S8 that's apparently coming out in March. And I hope you guys have a fantastic day. My name has been Ryan Thomas. Again, like I said, like if you dislike it, dislike it if you disliked it, subscribe if you're new, comment with your thoughts, and just, I'm really worried that I'm never going to get this information about Knox, and it's kind of something I want to learn about, but, you know, it's just something we've got to deal with. Hopefully you guys are helpful, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.